The greatest advantage of running a JMeter script using Torres is that you get access to the Blaze Meters reporting service. While many of the testing tools focus on execution and less on reporting, the Blaze Meter reporting service allows you to access test results conveniently and interactively. You can use the reports to compare different test executions and monitor trends over time. This is available on all BlazeMeter pricing tiers including the free version and it even works in the anonymous mode. In this demonstration you will run the Torus script, review the results in Torus console and review the results in Blaze Meter report. So in the previous demonstrations you have seen the Torus console and after the execution the console gets closed and we are not able to see the complete details. So we will use with Blaze Meter report so that we will have a permanent report on the Blaze Meter. For this we enter the same blaze meter command so bzt torus does find me so torus underscore j meter underscore script to dot yaml you can use any file name that you want to get report on hyphen report is the option that takes you to the blaze meter by pressing enter key we will see how this gets prepared and uh, you will see the report on the blaze meter. Now it says no blaze meter API key so it shows the console over here and you will see the blaze meter gets opened here so you can see the blaze meter account now so it's waiting for the response now let's open the same thing in the Taurus console so here you can see that the JMeter scripts are getting executed and you can see the information here, the response codes, all these details. The same thing you will also see on the Blaze Meter rip. So here you can see the Blaze Meter report. You can see how many users, how many hits per second, what is the percentage of errors, then uh, average response time. 90% response time, the average bandwidth it consumes and you can see the graph here, load graph that is the number of users and the hits and here you can see the response time, uh, response codes, how much time it is uh, taken to execute but what time it started it still runs so you don't see the ETA. So once this gets completed we will have the final reports so this is getting executed now you can see from 8 virtual users it has become 10 virtual users now now the report has been produced you can see that uh, it started and now it is ended you can see what time it has ended you can see the load graph response graph timeline report and then uh, you see here the timeline report now it shows that how much time how many uses how many hits and then, uh, so the green line indicates uh, the hits and the blue line indicates the number of users and the orange indicates that if there are any uh, how many hits and then average response time here so this is average response time and then uh, we will see the load report so now you can see the load report so it shows for minute if you want you can also configure to seconds so you can see uh, every 10 seconds what's the difference and then uh, request statistics final statistics the engine health wherein you can see how much memory it has consumed all that information so the connections uh, CPU network IO memory all that information you can see here and the original test con. Now you understand how to execute the script on Taurus with Blaze Meter report. Thank you for watching this video. Mm -hmm.